In this video, I'm going to talk about last 60 days roadmap that you can follow in order to get selected for GSOC 2022. I will be talking about what skills you are required, how you can acquire them, which organization you can contribute to, how you can contribute, how you can create a good port folio so hey guys this is achinte gamat in this video we are going to talk about a 60 days roadmap that you can follow even if you are an absolute beginner you haven't done anything you are from first year second year third year any year you haven't done anything so far and you want to apply for gsoc the last date to apply for gsoc is in april 19th is application will also start from april itself i am recording this video on 25th of feb so there is almost two months and slightly three four days lesser than that so in this video i'm just going to talk about the preparation i will create a second video after 7th of march when the organization for current uh, gsoc edition will be announced in which in that i will be talking about how to make a proposal what organization to select and i will also share 8 to 10 examples of proposal that you can take some idea from so let's start the video before we begin this video let me tell you about a very good coding contest code case by coding ninjas in which you can participate and be eligible for uh, internship in 100 plus hiring partners like coin dcx wingify tokopedia M medibuddy uh, coverfork eastep and many other companies which are hiring for jobs as well as internship which is open for all year students not not restricted to any third year final year this contest is going to be conducted on 6th of march apart from this there are prizes worth 30 lakh cash prizes in different categories as you can check link is there in the description go right now and register for this coding contest by coding so in this 60 days roadmap i'll be covering these things so let me give you a brief about gsoc so gsoc is not an internship many students confuse that it's an internship and google it's not like that so it's a project based mentorship program in which you will be working with some uh, open source organization that can be any tech company in the world so you will not be working in google you will be working with some tech company so this program is organized by google but you will not be working with google you will be paid a stipend which is a very good amount exact amount will be announced very soon and that amount will be paid to you by google so money paisa google dega but kaam aap kisi aur ke karoge to google aise kyun kara raha google want to incentivize student to take up and work in the open source industry so this is their initiative that they are doing for like five to ten years a lot of time i don't know the exact uh, number so we have divided this video in four parts so first we are going to talk about skills that you need and then we'll talk about how you can learn them what are the priority which projects you will find more second we'll talk about how much open source you need to know what are the skills specific skills you need git github etc open source contribution etc third we'll talk about how you can make your open source contribution portfolio like a lot of people say you should contribute to open source before joining to gsoc okay so we'll talk about detail in those in that section last we'll talk about once you select your organization how you can contribute to them what are the four or five options through which you can contribute okay skills needed what are the skills needed so any year student can apply who is above the age of 18 enrolled in any college so first year second year any year can apply for this also you don't need dsa for the lot of student ask sir ki dsa aana chahiye dsa nahi aana chahiye koi aisa interview nahi hoga aapka you need to have medium to advanced level proficiency in skill you choose which skill you can choose you will find good number of projects in web android you will find good projects in python and java as well there is no such hard hard and fast rule like so you can choose whichever is comfortable to you my recommendation is that you should uh, prefer mern stack you will find more option if you go through javascript domain and you, there are so many uh, frameworks working out there just master the code javascript and then you can work on any framework you can just learn it on the go and work on it then you can prefer java python etc okay so how do you learn it learn the concept learn the basics from youtube or any udemy course and make at least two to three projects hosted on github deploy it on netlify versal heroku etc so this is should be the process you learn the basic concept from youtube or some course then you make at least two to three projects in that skill and then you deploy the project as well because deploying is very important you will face lots of challenges in that because when you work in a contribute when you contribute to an organization your code will be deployed you have to deploy on your local host you have to deploy on the production server okay so deploying is very 
important so this is the thing you have to do you need to have medium to advanced level proficiency which you can achieve in 40 to 60 days very easily if you dedicate your full efforts to it so that much skill you need and nothing else now we talk about how much open source you need to know first you have to develop the open source mindset like how uh, open source industry work like how can anyone from anywhere contribute to your code like how uh, your proprietary software which company used to have prior to the open source boom is like open to the world anyone can see it okay second you have to learn the git basics like what is a git what is git repo how what are git branches how do you merge your code how do you push pull what is the difference in push and pull how do you add your code how do you commit your code so you can watch some tutorials on youtube very easily third you have to check out github you have to see how to create a repository there you have to see how to raise a pull request etc these kind of functionalities you have to explore you will find plethora of resources please don't say ki sir aap kuch tutorial banate yaar bahut sare resources hai youtube pe please follow some just google github tutorials git tutorials and you will find a lot of them uske baad aapko thoda sa advanced sikhna padega you have to learn slightly advanced ways of github ki how to raise a pull request how to merge it and if some conf conflicts are coming so major issue comes when some conflicts come into your code and how do you resolve those conflict so these are the certain major thing uh, advanced thing that you have to also learn if you want to contribute in some serious project so that will take some time you have to give at least two to three weeks for this aspect as well so don't think you have to learn the skill for 40 days and then you will start it you can start it simultaneously as well like you are learning your web development for two hours a day and the rest 30 minutes one hour every day you can dedicate to this as well Okay, so you can do those things simultaneously as well. Selecting organization to contribute, students find it very confusing and very difficult. Let me tell you, this is the easiest part of all the things that you are doing. So let's say you are contributing to an organization and that organization gets selected to GSOC 2022. So definitely that will be a very great advantage to you. And the organization that you are contributing doesn't get selected definitely that will be a disadvantage but that doesn't matter what matters is you have a good portfolio of contribution on open source no matter which organization you have done for example you were contributing to force asia and some reason force asia didn't get select for 2022 so will some other organization like not 52 will they not consider that contribution as contribution they will consider that contribution as contribution so don't worry just think of doing good contribution in any organization it will be considered as a proper contribution keeping this aside let's get into how to select an organization you have to find out organization which are regularly participating in gsoc you will find a page uh, organization participating on gsoc on their website and you can check out some organization prioritize only two or three organization and start contributing to them we will talk about this section in the later part of the video how you can do that you can connect with the mentors on slack irc channels once you can start contributing you will see the link to the meetup you will see the link to the slack channel to the irc channel get added to their engage with the communities like students like you in the comment section uh, in the discussion channels and you will see some youtube lives happening so you have to be active there okay so this is the way to engage with any organization prioritize any two three organization whichever you like just don't go after the famous one like force asia uh, j boss etc go after not so famous as well because there your chances of selection will be slightly higher we will make a detailed video on organization after 7th march because that will be a great time because uh, now we don't know which organization will get selected now we move on to the last and the most important part of the video how do you contribute to an organization so first part when you see a wrapper you will see that it's a huge code so many lines of code so many section components etc how do you understand so let me tell you you don't have to understand the whole code at once so what you have to do divide the code piece by piece try to understand certain section let us say you are uh, taking a repository of a web project try to understand the views section like you are understanding the home page so first you have to understand how the home page is working what are the css files what are the javascript files and how the header is displayed how the footer is displayed how the dynamic content content is being displayed so understand the landing page then you go to the uh, products page then you go to the categories page so slowly slowly piece by piece understand the larger 
कोड सेकेंड स्टार्ट रीडिंग द बिगिनर फर्स्ट गुड फर्स्ट इशू यू मस्ट बी अवेयर देर इज अ टैग कॉल गुड फर्स्ट इशू विच रिपोजिटरी ओनर्स टैग दम so you should go ahead and solve it you must be hearing uh, from many youtubers or guides that you should do it i will tell you one more thing let's say you have seen a good first issue which has already been solved you will see like sometimes when a issue has solved and something new has came up the repository owner will reopen the issue so what you do if you have seen a good first issue has been solved and if you think you have something to add on it you can comment on that request them to reopen the issue so you can supplement the existing good first issue as well next you can contribute by documentation as well you can uh, edit the grammatical errors you can add images you can add screen this is a perfectly legitimate way of making contributions don't do like comma uh, semicolons etc do proper contributions it will be counted and if you are not able to do any technical contribution then you can just suggest proper feature enhancement etc apart from this you can also help them managing the community you can help them managing the events the discussions which are happening the meetups which are happening so this is how you can engage so just imagine there is a group of 50 people who are doing some stuff so you have to go and become part of that community so what do you do you get engaged with some person try to get into their party etc so this is what you have to do do here as well get into their meetups join their slack channel irc channels etc start commenting on the solved issues on the feature enhancement on their suggestions when they ask for suggestions so this is the way this is a you have to constantly do for at least two months i hope i have given you all the information that you need in order to prepare for gsoc if you have any other queries please let us know in the comment section we will be making a second video on which organization you can apply once they are announced on 7th of march and how you can make your proposal with detailed instructions and sample of at least 8 to 10 selected proposal and we will post it after 7th of march